Across the country, state policymakers are challenging the traditional public education model in favor of providing parents with more options for their children. Known as the school choice movement, it's picking up steam. And in Oklahoma, Governor Mary Fallon is urging state lawmakers to join in by implementing education savings accounts, which supporters say give parents control over the money spent on their children's education. We had some great momentum last year, and I, I think the timing is right for us to hopefully get this passed and get it sent to my desk and give every child uh, the opportunity to be able to decide where they want to go to school, how they want to learn. And we all know that children learn differently, that you can't have a one-size-fits-all education system for every particular child's need, but having an education savings account gives parents and gives students an opportunity to look at what's the best education for them and, and where to go. Education savings accounts redirect the portion of funding normally spent on a student into a separate account accessible to parents. Parents can then use the money to pay for education services, including private school tuition, virtual education, or special education services. But this is just giving parents an option, especially if a child has a special need or maybe just learns differently. And it also gives students who might be in a less performing school the option of being able to go somewhere else so that their education is not based upon their zip code and where they live. And I, I just think it's a great time for us to continue that discussion. So far, five states have enacted education savings accounts and more, like Oklahoma, are considering proposals to do so. But ESAs have been called radical, a characterization that Fallon disagrees with. I don't think it's radical for any parent or any student to want to get the very best education wherever that best fits the student's needs. If you're in a very poor area and maybe you don't have the best school and there's challenges within that school system in whatever state you live in or whatever city you live in, this is especially a way for people that may not be able to send their kids to private school to be able to send them to a different school. Critics of education savings accounts fear they could deprive struggling public schools of much needed funding. Fallon, though, stressed that traditional public education can exist alongside non-traditional options. The bill is written so that a portion of the funds go with the student to allow them to use the education savings accounts, but yet a portion of it goes back to help cover the administrative uh, overhead costs of our public school systems. Previous legislation implementing education savings accounts in Oklahoma have failed in the past, but Fallon is hopeful that this year, she'll see a bill bringing ESAs to the Sooner State come across her desk. I hope that they'll get me a bill to my desk that will start the process of us having ESAs in Oklahoma, whatever form that might be, but if we can get our foot in the door and be able to give our students and their parents an opportunity to have choices and give quality education to our, our children in whatever forms best for them, I think that's a good step forward.